Okay, y'all, so last time we had the D, the R, and the S. Now we got the P, the R, and the S. So at least the R and the S is consistent. Okay. All right, guys, welcome to and welcome back. I'm so Veronica, and I'm so ready to show you the second portion of this floral dress skirt set. We don't know what we're making. Y'all, stay tuned. So first things first, we're going to take everything off the mannequin. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. If not, pray about it. Prayer changes things. And you pray about it long enough, and if it don't change the situation, that means God is working on changing you. But his word will not return unto him void. It changes things. All right. <clears throat> so, we want to have a clean working space. So, we're going to take everything off the mannequin and position it for how we want to serge or sew it or stitch it. Whatever you want to call it. And I think I'm going to turn this inside out. Upside down. Round and round. Y'all see how fast the channel changes? Put me on the prayer list. So as you guys know, I never leave my sewing machine plugged in. So I always have to plug it in before I get started. Plug it in, plug it in. My assistant has yet to show up for his first day at the job. But he will, y'all. As soon as he retires, we're going to have him full-time helping us out, whether he knows it or not. How many of you know happy wife, happy life? Huh? Who all, who's aware of that? All right, I'm just playing. I won't, if he don't want to participate, he don't have to participate. But it would be in his interest. In his best interest. All right, so we're going to do the sleeves first. Next time, I'm going to turn it this way, and I'm going to put the pins in, starting from the armpit and work my way down. I'm making a mental note. While I'm telling y'all, I'm making a mental note. That way, you can work <clears throat> smarter and not harder. Because just that little bit of an extra, you know what I'm saying, going this way instead of just going this way, that little bit of... That's, that's using a muscle somewhere in the, in the arm that don't need to be used. And this is the part of the video where you want to turn it down so you don't wake up Pookie and Ray right now. Because you know once they wake up, you ain't going to be able to get nothing done. already had our scissors ready but we didn't so this is that I usually go over it twice but uh, I'm a Ramatama I think I'm gonna delay the going over it twice until I feel confident in my skills where I can start selling stuff y'all we're not going over it twice no more it's just not necessary these are all practice garments, no matter how much I say I love them and I'm going to wear them out. And I have worn them out. Anyway, so that's the sleeve. Let's do the other one. Off cam. Please, please, off cam. All right, so we just finished that second one. Flip it inside out. Look at it. Admire our work. Look at it. Yeah, y'all, you don't know it till you sew it. Look at that. Why this fabric starting to look all faded? What's going on? What's going on? The black ain't black no more. The red is orange. Maybe it's me. Okay. <clears throat> so we got two sleeves. And now let's get to surging our favorite parts. And this is this is what I want y'all to see up close. So we're going to turn the, um, the serger that way. Slide that up. That way y'all can get a good shot of this because we're going to go over the tucks. Over the tucks. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm going to put it in like this. And we want to slide this over because we need as much countertop space as possible. Lift it up. Put it under there. Remove about 
two pins. You remove more than that, you're going to lose the tucks. Oh, that's a good angle. Y'all can see everything as you should, right? Because if it, oh, y'all can see my handwriting, my misspelling, my scriptures. All right, we're going to do that right there. I think y'all, y'all got a good angle. Y'all got a good angle. It ain't too dark. I should make sure that underneath is good. I should have done that to, there we go, it's, it's good. Uh, why am I nervous about this? Cause y'all are up close and personal. Y'all can see my cuticles. I don't wanna mess this up. They went from tucks to bunches. Now it's just bunched up. Which still gives it the same effect, I find. I may be wrong. As two left shoes. All right, so now we're about to hold up. There we go. And now I'm just like rotating and shifting the fabric around so we can get an even Stevens. Um, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know what I'm saying. So everything can be uniform and asymmetrical and aesthetically pleasing to the eyeballs. All right. Well, believe it or not, y'all, this is the fun part. It's just usually when I put a skirt on something, the fabric is not this, I don't, I want to say gummy. Like this fabric is really like soft and, 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 all over the place. Which I'm not complaining, no matter how much it sounds like I am, but it's just, it's different to work with when you're doing this particular thing. For me. But all things are possible. Martha Menenze. Menenze? Menenze? She has a song, all things are possible. All right. We're almost there, y'all. Now, I wanted to have this uh, surged on camera, but y'all probably won't get no more surging footage. Yeah, we're going to cut it. Nope, we almost done. I'm going to cut it here. we almost done. Just make sure you're not stitching the bottom to the... You know what I'm saying? Make sure that bottom is smooth. What I mean by that is the underneath there. You see that? Because I've gotten some fabric that shouldn't have been under there, under there, and it messed it up before. In other words, the fabric needs to stay in its lane. All right, family, so... I call y'all family because friends are so fickle and temporary that it's just best to call y'all family because family's going to be there through the good and the bad, honey. Okay? But friends, 
anyway so this is what we got i'm so proud of this look at that i want y'all to come closer so y'all can see the stitching quality or the lack thereof whatever however you want to look at it why do I wish this was shorter all of a sudden and like this was the skirt? You know what I mean? Something I can go salsa dancing in. Although I've never been salsa dancing. I've salsa danced. Okay. Okay, let the right song come on, okay? And I'm gonna bust a salsa move. But uh, y'all see it, y'all see it. Y'all don't see it? That is the skirt, darling. The ripples and the dipples. Okay, so we got a little bit of a, you know what I'm saying, whatever that is right there going on. We're just going to cut that off. Can y'all see? I can see. You know what I'm saying, just the scraggly. We don't want to surge the wrong side. This is the side we want to have that ugly little stitching. I guess it's not ugly. It's a sign of our hard work and our hard-earned money being put into sewing machines and sergers. So it's not ugly for me what that, that little serge line represents. Cause you can see it real good in that swimsuit video. My family said, what, what is that? What is that back there? I said, that is the serge marks. It was kind of big and bulky, but protruding from the backside. That was the serge marks y'all. All right, precious people, here we are. Lord Jesus, I need some water. Where's my assistant? with my black scissors my fabric scissors when they cut they give you such a crisp sound it makes you want to cut up all your clothes and just start over so y'all see that see how cute how much better that looks this side is obviously the the side that doesn't need to be seen but this side here it just looks better quality fold that over two lips perch for kissing and lay that on top of there Use our clampity clamps, okay? And let's go for it. All right, so that's that. This is the part that I have to pay attention because I don't want to stitch it on the wrong side. So the good is touching the good. The good sides are touching the good sides. Okay, and if you wanted to give like something fancy to the front of this, you know what I'm saying? If you wanted it to go down a little further, okay, then now would be the time, I think, to do that, to cut it. I may be wrong. I may be wrong as 2F shoes. <clears throat> Y'all, an assistant is really going to come in handy because it just is. Then again, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't need an assistant because if my husband was in here helping me, y'all, you know what I'm saying? For one, he doesn't know the terms. <laughs> so he'd be like, what? You know what I'm saying? He would have to be trained. You're right. He would have to be trained. But um, he would be getting in the way. Y'all, it's not enough room for me in here, let alone an extra person stumbling and staggering around. I didn't hit my knee once today already. So I guess I got to make do. I gotta do what I gotta do. I've never said that saying so much until I started making these YouTube videos. I really never been a fan of that. 
You gotta do what you gotta do. But it's not that bad. Now that I'm, you know, saying it repetitively all of a sudden, it's not that bad. Fabric's so nice, you gotta do it twice. Mm, excuse me. I just drunk a lot of water. <clears throat> Lemon water. So I can cut the fat. Like, girl, you can drink all the lemon water you want, honey. You can add some sugar to it and make some lemonade. And that's not going to cut the fat. You got to work out. But right now, I think it's working. Now, I can serve these sides off camera. I don't think y'all need to see this. You know what I think about sometimes? I think that there's people watching who may have had something going on in life to where they no longer are able to do this. You know what I mean? It might, it might be somebody sitting in a nursing home watching this because the lady put the laptop in front of her or him, you know what I'm saying? And they may not be able to do this, but they used to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and show this for you, Barbara, Alan. Barbara, I heard you. You said I was doing it wrong. Barbara, you're overly critical. All right. But no, I mean, seriously, though. You shouldn't assume that everybody's, you know what I'm saying, that this part gets on. I shouldn't assume that this part gets on people's nerves, that I show too much surging. Because if this is, you know, anyway, whatever. Sometimes I can be an overthinker, but I believe even that's going to work together for my good. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Looks good to me. All right, turn her in, side out. Round and round, upside down. Anyway, a little recess there. But y'all, this is um gonna look better once we get the sleeves on it. So now we have this mushed up like two lips perch for kissing. You say, what does that mean? What does that even mean? I don't know, but uh the fabric is, mwah, it's right there, it's, mwah, it's kissing. Make sure it's lined up though, because if it's not, it'll be a hole, it'll be a hole waiting on you to say hello when you're out in public in a board meeting, then that hole will surface and they'll be like, oh, excuse me, did you, did you know you have a hole right there? People who point certain stuff out when you can't do nothing about it, it's like, oh yeah, I realize I have a, a hole in the back, but now that I'm in line at Price Choppers, what can I do about it? Now it's different if it's a stain. Now if it's a stain, please tell me. Be like, sis, uh, you might want to go to the bathroom. Please tell me. But if it's a hole, unless it's a whole butt cheek out or something like there's nothing I can do about it. But say thanks and turn around in embarrassment. Is that is that was that your goal? Huh? Your goal was to watch me be embarrassed and sashay out of price shoppers and shame. You wanted to humble me, perhaps? Alright, so now we got the sleeve on there. I'm feeling better about it. So now we're going to take these two. The do I want to serge it or sew it? I don't even know it. You don't know it till you sew okay, it. So again, this is our brother from another mother, okay? And this is our brother with swag. And once those two start working back there, they get nicknames. So again, I like to put it under 
Well, that's the only way to do it. Put it under the, the needle, the thing. Close it up. Remove two pins. Make sure that underneath there is in line and intact. We don't want no surprises in the boardroom. I wish I had a job that was in a boardroom. That would be nice. Then again, I say that, and I had something that was similar to that. Every Monday morning, we all would sit down and go over numbers, and everybody had a different job, so we all had to pull our own weight. <laughs> anyway. And I don't know, it, that was a lot of pressure, y'all. And then for it to be a Monday morning at eight, it's like y'all wanna y'all want me to formulate a a sentence this early in the morning? <laughs> the money was good though, y'all. The money was good, but I would not go back to that for anything. If I don't have to. You never say never, but as long as God sees fit for me to do other things. So it was the first day on that job, I had to get uh, somebody called in, right? And since we all had different positions, they was like, oh, well, take her. Like, they said this would be a perfect opportunity for her to get you know what I'm saying? An ideal of what the, whatever they do on their job. And so I was like, yeah, I was all excited about it. Cause for the first six months of any job, I'm just like the perfect employee, right? I'm excited. I'm helping out, staying after coming in early, all that. And then after six months, I've noticed some, uh, some sort of unfairness, you know what I'm saying? Other people, nobody else is coming in on time. Nobody else's, you know what I'm saying? Why do I have to be the only person cleaning up? So, you know what I'm saying? You kind of call people out on their BS, on their mess. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll go. Send me, I'll go, right? So we're in the truck, okay? We're in the truck, and um, we go to this lady's house, and y'all, we gotta take her refrigerator. And the sad thing is, she had to remove the birthday cake out of the refrigerator and set it on the counter. And I felt like, immediately, for that to be my first day, I felt like I don't know how much, I don't know if I'm gonna be on this job long at all. I mean, because I understand you got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? That's what they hire you for, to be the... But I'm I'm really, really sensitive because I how I grew up. You know what I'm saying? I remember when they took our bunk beds and my mother just had one payment left. Okay? Just one payment left. And it would have been paid off. Let's anyway. See. You know, your work's supposed to speak for you. Or your work's supposed to speak for itself, rather. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Look at that. Look at that. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm yelling. Do y'all see that, though? Man. They not said you're not going to find that at the mall. You're not going to find that at the mall. Look, do y'all see what I'm talking about? Show me. I challenge every one of y'all, all 830 of y'all, to show me where you're going to find that at at the mall. The colors. that You see how the shimmer is, 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 it may not be shimmer on here, but the shimmer on here is bringing out the yellow in here. Mm. Won't he do it? And that side ain't even surged. This is the side that surged. But it's just gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Now what I'm thinking after I search that side is that we're going to probably go in a little bit more. No, because I want it to be a pullover. 
If we make it too narrow, it's gonna have to be a, you're gonna have to crack that open and put a zipper in there. Yeah, y'all, that job was rough. I remember somebody else had called in. See, I was a salesperson. So that job didn't involve, it just involved cleaning the furniture, selling the furniture, taking payments, right? And if somebody else called in, you got to scoot over and, and help out in that area. I know I'm kind of, you know what I'm saying, look like I'm athletic built or whatever. But again, I don't do sports. I may work out so that I don't get too flabby in certain areas. But I'm not trying to build muscle. Okay. So somebody called in and it was a whole bedroom set that had to get taken off the truck. And me and old what's his face is out there and he's like come on we gotta do it and i'm like okay let's do it and y'all if i didn't hear my back snap crackle and pop i said jesus and the blood of jesus been keeping me ever since then because um that was the last truckload i did y'all that that was it for me i said y'all not messing my back up I said, y'all are not messing my body up. All money ain't good money. If you can't see that this woman with this uterus, okay, see, I, I can understand now where some people would be like, you know what, y'all always talking about women are equal and blah, blah, blah. <sighs> let's get off of that. Let's, let's leave that alone. I couldn't do it. Okay, I couldn't do it. I mean, that was a, that, matter of fact, my husband and I, we're getting a, um, a new bed tomorrow, right? But I'm talking about a whole bedroom set with the, the heavy dressers, the heavy uh, parts of a bedroom set that I ain't never even seen before. It, was a, it wasn't a dresser. I should know this because I sold furniture, but it was some big old... Looked like it was furniture for an NFL player or something. Just huge, just gigantic, massive. Like it belonged in a castle. And got me on the other end of it, lifting it. Before that, we had a situation where a woman had bed bugs, y'all. And they had kind of like came and got all the furniture out of her house, right? I give a job like three strikes. Three strikes and then I'm a, I don't care if I gotta work at McDonald's, I'm out of there. And so they came and got all of her furniture, you know? And we all was fully aware of what she had and it was, it was uh, I think, probably three days after that that I just kind of told them, I, you know, I, I, I wrote them a note, and I just explained to them that I would no longer be able to work there. They told me, they was like, well, they saw that I had issues with what was going on because they was putting, they was putting her furniture back out on the floor to be sold. Anyway, anyway, but they told me, they was like, well, if you're, you know what I'm saying, if you're scared about the, the issue, the bed bugs, then maybe you should put your purse in the freezer because we had a, a freezer in the break room, a refrigerator. And I'm like, I shouldn't have to put my purse in the freezer. So I went out, me and my husband, we went out to eat and it was there at that job that I was like, I mean, at that um, restaurant, I was like, hey, are y'all hiring? And immediately got hired on and been there ever since. What Luther say and set it off? He said, there's three people I don't play with, the I, the R, and the S. Well, I don't play around with, you know what I'm saying? Some things, it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. 
All right, so we're gonna cut the stragglies off. And now we're gonna try it on, y'all, with the skirt, my favorite portion of the video. All right, guys, so right now I am pulling my dress over my head. You say, well, we don't need to know that. I understand, I understand. So now I'm sliding into the skirt, okay? And we already know how that fits because I tried that on, on camera, but I didn't have the circle skirt at the bottom. So, ooh-wee, 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 ooh-wee. I can't, I'm now trying on the top, y'all. I'm trying to discern which one is the, t uh, the front and the back. It don't matter. You can kind of see my bra through this. But I'm going to show y'all anyway. I'll just blur it out. All right. So this is this. I low-key want to stop here, y'all. Then again, let me pull this down some. Maybe it's me. I just ate some Go Chicken Go, and I usually don't eat places from places like that. I haven't eaten there in years. They used to be my go-to spot when I was uh, leaving the club back before Jesus changed my life. The first time. Um, but yeah, that was my go-to spot, y'all. Church's Chicken. I mean, not Church's Chicken. Go Chicken Go. Huh. What, what's going on right there? If anything at all, what's going on right there? So let's see, if I were to add this, connect this together to make it a dress, it would look like this shirt is tucked in. We don't want that. We don't want it at all. So I'll just leave it like this. I'll just put, um, I'm gonna put some black lace around the bottom of this shirt. You ain't gonna find this at all. These shoes hurt my feet. I don't know if it's because I had heels on earlier today and I'm just, I've reached my capacity for heels for a day. I, that may be it. And maybe it is the, um, maybe it's the, um, I don't know. It's the midsection of the outfit that's throwing me off. Maybe I'm expecting, maybe my expectations are too high for myself. Maybe it's, I know what it is now. It's the seam going down the front. This looks like, this looks like the back. So next time I, um, and I had to do it this way because I only had a certain amount of fabric and I had to connect it how I could connect it. But, uh. Hold on. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get a picture, y'all. It has a little bit of grain in there. Where's my yellow flower? So I just realized that I've done this color scheme before. The red and the yellow. I am a true Kansas City Chiefs player fan. Chiefs player. Fan of the Chiefs players. Because I just keep gravitating towards these same colors. Why is that eyebrow doing that? I'm sorry, y'all. You can't tell that I've ever studied any makeup tutorials. I feel like the yellow flower is really, really big. I know the yellow flower is really, really big. Anyway, so, um, 
Yeah, it's this is definitely maybe if I were to and bring out a little bit more of the if I were to cut that, add some some of the, the floral pattern to that. I just want to make the yellow less. The yellow is too much and it's not. I don't know. I can't even put my finger on it. Really, I can. Like maybe if I had some of that floral pattern right here. You know what I mean? That would be cute. Floral pattern right there. That way it'll only show a little bit of yellow. Just like a, you know what I mean? Anyway, so we're going to conclude this video here. Thanks for watching.